Hi, everyone, and welcome back. This is Mindy Egan for Tailored Expressions. And in today's video, I'm going to be making lots of Christmas cards using the new Seasonal Sprigs Stamp, Die, and Stencil Set. First, we'll take a look at some of the supplies I'll be using. For cardstock, I have Saltwater Taffy, Cherry Red, Granny Smith, and some Sugar Cube cardstock. For inks, I'll be using Oreo, Granny Smith, cilantro, mulled wine, watermelon, cupcake, saltwater taffy, and a Versamark. Now I also have some additional supplies like the post-it tape, some anti-static powder, the gold embossing powder, and blending brushes. And there are a few supplies along the way that I'll be using as well. Here's a look at the Seasonal Sprig stamp set. It is a red rubber stamp. You can see it has this large seasonal sprig and some beautiful Christmas sentiments. There's also the Seasonal Sprig stencil and the coordinating die. Now you can use these separately or all three of them together, which is what I'll be doing today. And this is a closer look at the stencil. There's a layer for the berries and a layer for the leaves. So you could color these berries and leaves in any medium that you want, but I'll be using the stencil to easily create some Christmas cards. Now the easiest way I found to get this lined up nicely is I die cut that seasonal sprig die out of white cardstock and then I placed that on top of some sugar cube cardstock in my Misty tool and lined up my stamp that way. That just gives me a guide to work with. It doesn't have to be perfect, but in other ones I had done previously, I was crooked or I didn't leave enough space on the edge for the border. So by die cutting that first one as a guide, that really helped me get some placement and I will be using that piece later on in the video. So I did stamp this in Oreo ink using my Misty tool and I'm going to stamp a bunch of these off screen. Since I already have it lined up, it is very easy to just go ahead, switch out my cardstock and stamp them. Or as you can see here, you can also heat emboss this. So once I had cleaned the stamp, I did stamp that in Versamark ink. I have prepped the cardstock with an anti-static powder tool first. And then after I stamped it, I'm sprinkling on gold embossing powder. And after my heat gun is nice and hot, I'll bring that over and I can heat emboss this. So a couple different ways that you could use this. Here we have the two piece stencil set, which is what I'm going to be using. I'm taking the first layer, which is the berries. I'm gonna line that up over my image and then hold it in place with post-it tape. You could use some uh, pixie spray, but I really didn't see the need to since there is such a small area to work with. And then I'm going to use my blending brush and First, first I'm going to ink blend on watermelon ink. So just going over that real quick, real light. And then I will bring in mulled wine and I'm gonna kind of go just right up the center of that sprig. This is just gonna give a little bit of dimension to my berries, some light spots, some dark spots. You could certainly color these in any medium that you prefer, but I find this just went really quick. Then I'm going to take the leaves portion and same thing, just kind of holding that down with the post-it tape. I'm going to start with Granny Smith ink, giving that just a really nice light layer. And if you wanted, you could mask off the edges of your stencil too, so you didn't have any over blending uh, getting on your cardstock. Then I'll bring in the cilantro ink, and once again, just kind of going right up that sprig. So it's gonna leave a darker area towards the branch and then the lighter edges out on the outside of the leaves. And this is just so beautiful and really quick and easy to do. So after I have a bunch of these done, and like I said, this went by really quick, I'm gonna start working on some die cutting. So I'm going to take that matching die, line it up over my area, hold it in place with post-it tape and run that through my die cut machine. And I'll do that for all of the ones that I had stamped and ink blended. I will also be die cutting off screen just some of these off of plain white cardstock as well. So here is my batch of seasonal sprigs ready to be added to cards. And these are the ones I die cut extra. I'm going to layer this behind my ink blended ones to add dimension to my card. 
So I'm going to add a little bit of soft blending behind my seasonal sprig. I used that panel just to line up about where I want the ink blending to go. So starting in one corner and starting with the watermelon ink and just doing this really light. I didn't want it too dark behind there. I really want that uh, seasonal sprig to be the main focus. So just adding a really light layer of that watermelon ink extending up and fading off into white. And I'll do that with a variety of colors. So here on this one, I had used cilantro and I lined this up into my Misty tool to do stamping of the sentiment. Once I found the perfect placement, I stamped that in Oreo ink twice. And this was just like an assembly line. I just brought in all of my panels, stamped them and moved on to the next one. Now, after all of my sentiments are stamped or heat embossed, I did do some on some plain cardstock as well, just to change it up a little bit. I'm going to layer these together for that dimension. So I took some Nouveau Deluxe adhesive and just added that around that frame and onto my leaves. And I'll just layer these all together. So I have about three layers in total. After I have all of the layers glued together, I will attach this to some color cardstock as well that I had created. This one is Cherry Pop. And I did do one in Granny Smith and I have a piece there in Saltwater Taffy, but I actually kind of had a little accident on it, so it didn't quite make the cut. But I will give you a look here at all of them. I have ink blending with the uh, watermelon ink, cilantro ink, and this is the ink blending with Saltwater Taffy. And this one has the card base as Cherry Pop, Cilantro. I did one in Toffee. And I think also just a plain white cardstock would be beautiful as well. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for joining me today. You can catch all of these supplies over at tailoredexpressions.com. Thanks again, and I'll see you next time.